Yo, what's up, peeps? It's your boy Fahad Rev V. I wanted to do a video on the Kareem Hunt situation. Now, if you don't know Kareem Hunt, he's a football player in the NFL, and he had a situation that happened earlier this year that the NFL said they knew nothing about. So people like TMZ got the video of what he did and that's pretty much what I want to talk about. Now Kareem Hunt is a successful football player. Um, just got caught up in a situation that a lot of people do in and outside of sports. But just because he's in the NFL or a star per se, he, um, you know, he get the best of them because they're in the public eye all the time and they have fans and things of that sort. Now, be noted that what he did is what many other football players in basketball, baseball, has already done. This is not a new thing. So he got in a situation with, I'm believing, a Caucasian lady, and he put his hands on her. The video is online. You can go and look it up. It's everywhere. Just check out football player Hakeem Hunt. Now, I don't believe in domestic violence. No, I don't believe in it at all. Man or woman. I don't think a man should hit a woman, and I don't think a woman should hit a man. I just don't agree with neither. But by me saying that, I have to take consideration of common sense also. Now, common sense kick in too. If you hit anybody in this world, expect for them to hit you back. I'm just a firm believer, if a woman hit a woman, she's gonna hit her back. If a man hit a man, I'm pretty sure he's gonna hit that other man back. And I have to be stupid to believe if a woman hit a man, he's not gonna hit her back. Or if a man hit a woman, she's not going to hit him back. Not saying that it's right at all, because I believe nobody should hit nobody. Anybody should hit anybody, and we won't have to worry about these kind of situations. So we're going to take a look at the video, and you're going to tell me how you feel about it. While looking at the video, I got a bombshell that they didn't say on the news, and it's something they trying to keep private from everybody knowing. Still not saying that it's right for him to do stuff like that. Not saying that at all. Not saying that at all. But we're gonna look at the video of my guy, Shannon Sharp, and Skip Bayless talking about it on Undisputed. So you can pretty much get your own understanding. This isn't new. No. This isn't no. a new issue for the mm -hmm. NFL. And you listen to the video and you watch Kareem and I do believe he's sorry. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm sure he was under the influence of something. Well, he did yeah. admit that, which mm -hmm. doesn't really change the thing. But I just don't know if he deserves another shot. Because you make that mistake. Really? You think? I don't know if he I does. Just, so here's my thing now. Wow. If this it is makes a, me sick. I just want to make sure we're clear. If this is a lifetime ban for a professional athlete, I want doctors. I want police officers. I want everybody to get a lifetime ban. Because it just can't be for domestic violence if you're a professional athlete. I want everybody that has an occupation mm -hmm. to suffer a lifetime ban. By if the that's way, the way I, we're I going. I'm, I'm not even sure this qualifies as domestic violence. It was just assault. Right. Me. So well, I just I just want to make I just want to make sure if that's yeah. the road we're gonna travel down. Yeah. If you put your hands on a woman, mm -hmm. no matter your occupation, it's gotta be a lifetime ban. No more employment for you. Because what I'm starting to hear is more of that, well, he's a professional athlete. He doesn't deserve to do anything anymore. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. No. Doctors, lawyers, firemen, policemen, school teachers, bankers. I want that to be the uniformity across the board. Well, Jimmy, obviously. It is a high standard. You have to, yeah. you are held to a higher standard. So doctors are not held to a high standard? Well, but in, I'm just saying in the NFL, you so should know you, better. Let me ask you a question. If he was not in the NFL, what would be the difference? 
I mean, but, all but NFL, people should be held to that standard. NFL but players NFL. are looked at as role models and representatives of so what the league that, that what operates the, what the on its image. At? They are also looked at okay. very so highly. That would be handled in a different way. But Why? This is the NFL. Why? Because you are held to a higher standard. But you said, are you saying doctors and lawyers are not held to a standard? And school teachers. Do you see, Jenny? But a lot of time, the public doesn't even know what inspires. Uh, so it becomes so public. You, but see, you got to excuse the NFL mm -hmm. because they didn't know the tape existed. So what they didn't know. Well, they had to know the tape existed. Okay, there, there then. So if it's the veil of secrecy, if we don't know who you are, if you Joe America and you do this, you can go on about your life. But if you're a professional athlete and we know about it, you should be held to a high standard. Uh-uh. Mm. That's not the way the, law, the justice and the law said it's blind. Okay. It doesn't matter what you do. All right, now, after seeing the video, I 100% agree with Shannon Sharp. If you're going to crucify anybody for doing something like that, I think everybody should have the same punishment. When he said doctors and teachers and stuff like that, she really didn't say anything back, which I worked around kids for years and still do. And when I hear kids talking about who they want to be like, I hear doctors, lawyers, teachers. I hear that more than I hear football players or NBA players, believe it or not. So that makes a standard for people that's high profile, that's playing sports, that they should they should be the ones to get banned for any kind of violence. It's a lot of guys in the NFL and other sports that's done something similar to that. And believe it or not, a lot of times it got just swept up under the rug. That makes me think about a lot, skin color alone. Not saying that it's racist. I'm just saying a lot of other players and stars have got in trouble but they didn't lose their career out of it. Not saying that he is, but that's how they talk. Say, for instance, Adrian Peterson. He got in trouble and arrested for whooping his kid. Coming up like we come up, you know what whoopings is, and you know you got them. Even though you didn't like them then, you got a little older, and you thank mama and pops for uh, keeping you out of that situation uh, that could have had you either dead or in jail. That's what the whooping helped with. And Adrian Peterson almost lost his career off of whooping his kid. Thing is, when the media gets to it, it's blown completely out of what it really was. He whooped his kid, you know what I'm saying? But the media get it. He abused his child, he did this and he did that. Now, if you go watch the Hakeem Hunt video, it's not, it don't look as bad as they portray it. He do put his hand on a woman and that's unacceptable. A hundred percent unacceptable. Some sources say that he was on some drugs that night. He kind of didn't know what he was doing. That's not an excuse either. If you're going to do drugs or drink, you got to do it responsibly. And if you do something that's irresponsible, you just got to man up to it. You got to woman up to it. Now, they say he's under the influence of something. And he does something that's completely out the way. So the question is, why would he be that mad at her, so upset with her to even be put in the situation for him to want to put his hands on her. But they left out that uh, she called him the N-word a few times and that's what kind of set him off. So we gotta be realistic as people. If you're under the influence of something, as a black man and a white person call you the N-word you probably gonna wild out a little bit. Not saying that he should have put his hands on her or anything like that. Like I said, I don't agree with that at all. But if you're gonna put the story out there, put a full story out there. Now, this was just released that she was calling him names and calling him the N word. So I can only imagine how they feel being 
that I have been taking some drugs or drinking too much. I can only imagine because I hands down know how it feel to be called the N-word by a white person sober. Now the feeling that I feel sober when that happens, I can only imagine what I would feel if I was under the influence of something and it was to happen to me. Now, my reason for making the video is the woman saying that he should pretty much lose everything. And Shannon pretty much just cleared it up. If this man or this woman is going to get in trouble and lose everything over this situation right here, I don't think it should be just football, just sports, because they have people wearing their jerseys and stuff like that. I think a doctor is way more high profile than a football player. Doctors make way more money than football players. They save lives. I mean, how high profile can you get to do that? But I honestly think Shannon seen the race thing and just kind of put it in a better perspective so they would understand it and not be pushed to the forefront like that in better words and you got to think about it if you in the nfl and you do something or any sports and you do something it's going to hit the airway fast this happened at the beginning of 2018 and NFL saying they are just now seeing it. Truly hard to believe. This hotel has all the footage. Uh, police reports was drawn on it, and NFL don't know anything about it. They just pretty much swept it under the rug because they didn't want that kind of situation again with their organization. I totally understand. But for them taking the actions that they're trying to take now, this happened last season. Why do something now? The only reason why is because it's out there. They didn't hide it good enough. Somebody outed it. And once TMZ get it, it's over. So my reason for doing the video is, what you think? You know, should it be only basketball, football, baseball, movie stars to get in trouble for this and lose everything? Or should it be an everybody thing where you lose your job, your former income, everything, your whole livelihood over making a bad decision. It's pretty much what jail is, but when you got a little money, it's kind of different. But um, what Shannon said made so much sense. If you're gonna shame a person because they play football or they play basketball or something like that, should it be one-sided? Should we just shame everybody that does things like that? And the fact that he got that mad let me know when I first seen the video, it had to be something else. Second question. Should he got that mad because somebody called him the N-word? It's basically saying to me, because he played football, that when people call him the N-word, he's supposed to be okay with it because he know his position and he don't want to ruin it for his family or ruin himself. Some people just can't be okay with it, you know, by any means necessary. They fight for that kind of stuff all the time, every day, and they just can't take certain things. I understand what he did was wrong but could you take that and what would you do these are the questions that i have so that was strong on my mind ever since i uh seen shannon say that and i just wanted to do a video on it because it kind of hit home on some past situations i have been in when somebody called me the n-word and I react however I react. My reaction didn't get me sent to jail or 
me to have a bad taste in my mouth for what I did or what I said. Because, believe it or not, it's everyday life. I get racism everywhere I go, literally. I experience it. So I can only imagine the hate for somebody that's highly successful as their brother. So, just want to do the video, man. Y'all tell me how y'all feel in the comments. Um, Cause I really want to know. Like, I ain't make this video to be get views and all that kind of stuff, man. I really want to know how y'all feel about what Shannon said, how y'all feel about what the old girl said, and go and watch the video and uh, give give just give your opinion on what you think should happen, or you know, if you was in that situation, or you have a family member, or you have been in that situation and you got in trouble for reacting. Just let me know. I'm like super curious. But you can hit the uh, subscribe button if you want to see some of my other videos and hit the bell uh, and it'll alert you whenever I put up a new video. And pretty much, man, y'all be blessed. It's your boy Fahara FV, the son of Double AG, and it's IVD all day. One.